Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on for some more Grixis Discard. It's been a few days since we played the deck, and so let's play it again. This is my uh, probably most popular deck to play, one of my favorite decks to play, uh, one of the best decks that I play as well, all of those. And since last time that we played this, we have acquired a lot of the lands as uh, the 3D arts. They did not make Dragon Skull Summit for some reason, so that one is not going to be the 3D art. But we have a lot of the lands and to go with all these cards that we have as well. So no real changes to the deck since last time. And we got the Demir Sleeves, though. But let's go ahead and get to the games with Grixis discard are there gonna be nine 19 mythics is that what y'all were saying earlier so there's 19 mythics in the set because that's certainly different Rakdos is sweet. It's our first time playing Rakdos. The Avatar, that is. My favorite card so far from the set. <clears throat> to be fair, I haven't... I haven't completely read over like every single card and everything and, and really thought about you know how much I'll play them or anything like that but certainly a card that looks like that I'll be playing quite a bit that I'll like is uh, Paradise Druid which is the one green for a 2-1 and it can add it one man of any color and has hex proof as long as it's untapped that's really a card I'm excited about. So double Fountain of Renewal. I think the card that I'm most worried about here is um, Dawn of Hope. It's going to be really difficult for me to beat Dawn of Hope. I don't know if, like, duressing this turn or next turn. Like, next turn we could give them more chance to draw a Karn if I wait a turn. Don't really know what the incentive is to duress immediately right now. I I can't really think of any like three mana card they're gonna play this turn. Davriel. Wow, they actually did have history Benalia. Okay, never mind. That was that was the card that I was thinking. Well, duress could hit a history, but they're not gonna be playing history and founder renewal, right? Never mind. Gavriel, three mana, three loyalty, minus one target player discards a card. I like that. Uh, BMV Chubkeep, if the player has one or fewer cards in hand, then Davriel deals two damage to them. Okay. Make him discard three. No, they found Dawn of Hope. That was the card I said that I really did not want them to draw. So that would be a difficult card for me to be able to beat. Yeah, I mean, I can't beat this Dawn of Hope. This game's over. Yeah, I mean, this game's just over. <clears throat> Alright, well, Dawn of Hope's certainly a problem. We're gonna need to bring in some more threats. Here, we, I don't think we need as much removal. I'm not liking these lava coils. Do I want to negate instead of duress? I 
Which I probably just don't want campaign. Yeah, I think I'd rather have Thief than Campaign. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Cause yeah, basically all their enchantments are a big problem for us. The the one thing I'm not quite sure of is I'm not quite sure how creature heavy they are. If trimming down to two ritual sets, or if I should be if I should have a third over the second bedevil. Right now I'm going with two bedevil, two ritual, but I, you know, it's like unclear for exactly what they have if, if I should have one bedevil, three ritual. But I like having all the, like the dresses and the gates try to get Ixlon's bindings and other enchantment removal out of there. Out of their hand or countered. Yeah, I'm liking the Rakdos avatar. Didn't treat us super nice the first first game, but we got a real good hand here to start the second game. I'll just keep this negate up in case there's a Dawn of Hope. Or History Banalia. Alright, going with a little bit of a risk there of getting rid of that land. Because that land at least, you know, make sure that we can cast Angrath next turn. But between drawing the next card after that, and then also seeing two cards for as Kanto, I was thinking like we'll probably find a land in one of the next three cards. If you know, if we don't see another one, the problem with keeping it is that we could maybe just get too many lands, and putting cards to our graveyard, of course, is valuable as well for flipping as Kanto. And hopefully we get this land for Angrath. There we go. Because we are going to want to clean out their hand and then play Dispersal to get rid of the Ixalan's Binding. Here, no fire, no steel. This time we're better equipped to deal with. We're much better equipped to deal with Dawn of Hope now. Having Angrath and no Nicol fire, Bolas on the battlefield. No steel. Oh, I should do that during their. I should do that during their draw step, or like after they draw a card with Dawn of Hope, because we because we can make them just discard another card. Yeah, I should have should have timed that a little better. What's the point to throw the first land and not the second if you want land anyway? No fire, no steel. I guess I'm not exactly sure how to answer that question. As I, I talked about, like, why I got rid of that land at the time, but I'm not. Yeah, I don't know exactly how to answer that. So, Dispersal is a really important card because of Ixalan's bindings in, in our opponent's deck, so I'm keeping Dispersal here. I'm not casting Discovery, and I'm not ditching the Discovery. 
I'm just just keeping it because it's a an important card against a, a deck with enchantment removal. I should plus Angrath first. I should definitely be plusing Angrath first there. No, it, it doesn't really matter. No they were going to discard History of Benalia, but no I should steel. have them discard first before we thought Erasure so they have less information about their discard. Norm himself with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Norm. Thank you for that support. And enjoy all the awesome emotes. And our sub battle countdown is down to 65 now. That's right, for subscribing, you had access to 22 really cool emotes there. And Hoi Kanoi getting aboard the hype boat as well. Welcome, Hoi. All right, we're down to the final 64. Cannonballs. I'll die standing before I live kneeling. Candy Ninja joining in on the party. We need a lot more hype boats going for our new and resubs. If you got those hype boats, send them in the chat. Thank you so much, Candy Ninja, Hoi Kanoi, and Norm himself. Norm saying, keep up the good work. Todd, really enjoy your stream. You do a great job explaining your plays. Thanks, Norm. Okay, cool. Same why. You understood what I was talking about earlier. Awesome. So, we've seen a bunch of Ritual of Soots. Or, sorry. <laughs> sorry. R Ritual of Soots was the card I was thinking about bringing in. Sorry. We've seen a bunch of History of Banalias. That's the card that I was talking about. So, we've seen a bunch of History of Banalias. It's probably good to have a third soot and maybe just one bedevil. We haven't seen a planeswalkers like Karn or anything like that. We'll go that way. We'll go third soot, one bedevil. Soot, of course, isn't as valuable if we have Thieves Sandy going, but that's all right. I don't want to like just try die to history of Benalias and not have any answers for him. This hand would be so good if we had a shock land. But I'm still keeping it, hoping to draw a shock land. No. Cantagon. Huh. So Elders Reborn is like the hardest card for me to beat. But it does cost a lot of mana. So I guess I just take this Mortify and hope we can get Thieves Sandy going and be able to keep Negate up for the Elders Reborns. All right, I need more land drops. I should not have played my shock land for or my land first. Yeah, I want both of those. Crucible of Worlds is awesome against Thief of Sanity because you know I, I I attack them for Thief. I put lands in their graveyard, then they get to hit just hit land drops. Is doubling season alt actually being reprinted? I thought that was an April Fool's thing. I could be wrong, though. I, I haven't seen it at all. It's just from people in chat saying 
doubling season and then somebody else saying April Fools. I, I just don't know. Well, Respondent Angel's great against Thief. Hoping we find an Ixalan's Binding, like some removal spell for this Respondent Angel. Nope. <clears throat> Certainly considering taking the land. To not let them have the land for Crucible. What can I, I just can't even choose a land? Oh, it just stays exiled over there. It's just not exiled over here. Please don't draw six land. Woo! They did, but it comes into play tapped. All right, so we'll throw away one thief to look at their top three. Gosh. These cards suck. Yeah, they got that count that combo going now. Memorial <clears throat> and Crucible. Yeah, doubling season's not on Mythic Spoiler, so that's probably an April Fool's. Said, I'm super excited for Soren. He was the first Planeswalker I ever opened IRL, and since I've loved Vampire Tribal back in the days of Nighthawk. Yeah, it's really cool how... That's a problem. It's really cool how there's all these planeswalkers that you know different people are, you know, just really excited about. You know, some people are really excited about Soren or Vivian or, you know, just all these different planeswalkers that have players excited and That's really cool that we bring in so many or basically having so many people be excited for different things. This is really unfortunate for us that we, these thieves have just not hit anything. So if I do not cast Kaya's Wrath, I'm dead because ill-gotten inheritance kills us. <laughs> yeah, we have gotten screwed. <laughs> this game has just been kind of ridiculous. We've hit our opponent four times with Thief of Sanity, and the best thing we got was Akaya Zareth that just killed our Thief of Sanities. <laughs> they were horrible Thief of Sanities. And then our opponent, like, 
we hit it with Theo Sandy and clear off like you know three lands, and then they draw Resplendent Angel, draw Ethereal Absolution. Like they just keep drawing like the the one good card. Where we just like get rid of like so many crappy cards. Oh, well, that was a good draw. Waticus with the tier one sub. Welcome back, Waticus. We're gonna lose it here, though. This Crucible has been really, really good for our opponent. I certainly regret not taking Crucible with Duress earlier and taking Mortify. You know, I was thinking, okay, I'll take this Mortify so my Thief of Sandy can survive. Just let them have that weird Crucible. Definitely regret that. Yeah, at least we have a cool avatar. I think these Demir sleeves are my least favorite of the sleeves. That's lethal. Phone can just kill us with ill gotten inheritance now. Yeah, those those isits were nice. Charging them up. Well, we we do have ways to deal with enchantments. You have we have discovery. Or sorry, Dispersal. Dispersal deals with enchantments, as we saw game two. This is just not also not a very popular strategy, the mono enchantment deck. Not too worried about not dealing with enchantments very well. Maybe our opponent did not realize they could just kill us with the ill-gotten inheritance. Because that had, like, they could have just paid six and killed us last turn. But we're still dead. We had, we drew all four Thief of Sanities and all four of them did absolutely nothing for us. So that was pretty crazy. We would have been in a much better spot if I would have just had disinformation campaigns, honestly, instead of those Thief of Sanities. It was just kind of crazy how bad Thief of Sanity was that last, that game three for us. Oh, well, next game. Jelly Tuck says, Ah oh, yes, just finished 5-0 with quasi dupla ooze, and the pack I got from the victory gave me my fourth copy of Biogenic Ooze. Dude, that is perfect. Very nice. I shouldn't have shocked here. I regret shocking. I regret I that's I regret that completely. Since I already shocked, then I felt like I was priced in and just cast the duress. Do I have a favorite standard brew right now? If you would have asked me a week ago, I would have said this Grixis Discard. But now I've been really enjoying the Quasi Dupla Ooze. So I think it's good to wait on the Duress to be able to take like Vras's Contempt from them. Basically wait for us to have a threat in this kind of matchup. Or also wait, wait, basically wait the turn before they could cast Vivian Reed. Also, all right, campaign's good. Do I want Watery Grave? Not really.
Hey, what's up, Derek? Good control decks for a beginner. I, I mean, I guess like Esper control is probably the best control deck for a beginner. You just kind of play the best spells you can each turn. Get rid of these. I want to find Ritual of Set. I, of course, was going to be playing Campaign, but drawing the Ascanta, I want to get that in play. And looking for Ritual of Set. We have four of them in the deck. Haven't seen one yet. We didn't like scry one at the bottom or anything, right? Yeah, no, we haven't seen one. Graveyard. Hmm. Okay, let's see if we get lucky and find soot. Just no ritual sits anywhere. Alright, so I'm just gonna contempt the crisis so it's out of here so they don't get it. They're not able to get it back. Let's see if you're. You can't stop nature. Okay, we're going to need to bedevil the Vivian Reed. Which means I'm taking another hit. Here. Y'all like the, the soul ring sleeves? Set. I'll be back just like before. Soul Ring's a, a card that was printed in like the very first set of magic. It's a one mana artifact that you can tap and add two colorless mana to your mana pool. It is very strong. <laughs> one of the best cards ever printed. down to one. Oh, I love seeing another set. Another set's a good draw. Yeah, there's definitely times to not not transform as Kanta. You shouldn't just automatically always transform it. That's a good point. Sometimes you do just want the scry. Wow. Hmm. Oh, they don't. They don't have the t the double green. That's the problem. They don't have the double green. So we have a problem. If I play Bolus, I die because then they just folly back Hostage Taker and Hostage Take my Bolus and attack me for one. So I like have to cast Ritual of Soot. But Ritual of Soot, casting it here feels so bad. Should I? I'm definitely considering activating as Kanta and then just hoping to hit. 
any two or three mana removal spell. We have four Lava Coil and one Bedevil that we can hit. And so we have five cards out of the 34 that we can hit. I mean, if we don't hit one of those, we die, though, also. It's tough. I guess I'm just casting this thing. It's the safest play. What do you mean, not enough man if they don't draw a land for... Like, the, they're memorialing on my turn. Like, if I cast the Bolas, they just memorial on my turn, and then they just untap and play Hostage Taker. Problem with using the ritual of set already. Ah, we would have found lava coil. Well, we can still coil Jade Light and play Bolus. Stay alive. Yeah, it certainly would have been better if we would have activated as Kanta found Coil and Coiled the Wild Growth Walker last turn. But I'm glad they... I'm glad the Folly's gone. We don't have to worry about the Folly anymore. I can't save Coil. I, I'm dead if I don't. Like, yeah, 3D Bolas. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't see the life total. So next turn, the plan is... Hoping they don't draw a removal spell. And... Transform Bolas. I thought I was fighting dragon. Isn't death Grab Hostage Taker for the Krasis. And then we'll just chump lock the Wild Growth Walker. Of course, we're not going to be casting the Hydroid Crisis as long as they attack us. And unfortunately, I cannot minus four again. We're at three loyalty. I can't go grab Hostage Taker again. So let's draw two. Yeah, let's draw two. Oh gosh, those are awful. I guess we're Ritual of Sit or Die now. Wow. Those are awful. I could have activated as Kanta first, and then been, been able to minus three Bolas to be able to kill the other thing. Obviously, I didn't do that, but... Something we could have done. It was an unfortunate game to lose. I think I think we win that game. Honestly, I think I win that game if I if I would have taken the riskier line of not ritual of setting away the one three and activating as Kanta. You know, we only had five cards out of the 34 to hit. So it was a risky line. We could have died on the spot. But I think we had the, the coil on top. If we would do that line, we grab the coil. We coil the Wild Growth Walker. We get to save Ritual of Soot for the next turn. And it makes our life a whole lot easier.
So I think back previously at that turn, I regret not doing that line because then our opponent uh, top decked the green source that allowed them to double spell with the creatures, and then we were kind of in the back seat after that. Oh, I need to make the... I need to make the thumbnail for Orzov Angels, because that one's already ready up, ready to go up on YouTube. Steam Vent Sulphur Falls? That's probably doable. I would not be keeping this if I didn't have Discovery, but we have Discovery on turn two. If, if we don't top deck a Black Source here, we have Discovery to go look for Black Sources. Ritual of Sets a really important card for us to have in the matchup. Well, that's a huge tilt. <laughs> uh, it's definitely an exaggeration saying a huge tilt, but... It is possible for us to get Mana Screwed now if they take Discovery. They did not take Discovery. Interesting. Yeah, I'll keep those. Almost done here. I'll be back in the chat here in just a second. Wars of Angels right there. Pretty tough winning game, both games two and three. That game one was certainly a game I wanted to win, with like how the cards were lined up and everything. Oh, dang. Now they get to take Thought Erasure so I don't get to pick up Campaign. That's a r really clutch to rest there, that third one. Because Thought Erasure picking up Campaign, casting Campaign, that was going to be a really good turn for us. So yeah, you can you can spend gems to get these 3D cards to turn to get cosmetics for these 3D cards. Zerf, can you can you find the I don't know if you're able to, can you find the link that has the the prices like the description and the prices for these 3D cards so I can I want to make that a command because that's a you know it's a new thing and we have a lot of questions about those. It's just not easy to find a link on for whatever Wizards has. I tried looking the other day while I was streaming and I couldn't and it's it's hard to find a link while talking with chat and playing magic and doing everything else too. So we're two cards two permanents away for Arch of Araska. I kind of want to wait on Bolas, honestly. I feel like if I play the Bolas... It's like, one, I want Krasis exiled, right? Like, I don't want Krasis in their graveyard for them to be able to get back with their fines and Memorial Defilies and stuff. If I play Bolas, they... 
probably have Vivian that they play Vivian and kill my Bolas. And then I just bedevil Vivian. Well, I feel like I'd, I'd rather just bedevil Vivian anyway. And um, wait on the Bolas. There you go, Jakarta, you found it? Awesome. All right, so, so let's do it as a command for cosmet, cosmetics. Or should we do full art maybe? Love it, great draw. Ever seen water your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. The other thing about waiting on Bolus is I did want I wanted Bolus to be able to turn on uh, Arch of Araska. Oh, stealing stealing the Krasis did turn on Arch of Araska. That's pretty big for us. No fire, no steel. Uh, possibly Doom Waffle. I didn't I didn't see any notification for the resub check. I mean you have the tie by your name. But yeah, there's nothing nothing on my side that shows it. See if you have the notification at the top of your chat. Usually when you're resubbing you get a notification on the top of your chat. Getting closer to being able to play Bolas and transform Bolas immediately. Yeah, Angroth's really good in this matchup. Ah. Uh. I'll get you, Carter. We'll wait till. We'll get it then. We'll wait till then. No fire, no steel. And get to clear our opponent's hand out. No more crisis for you. Perfect. Yeah, if our opponent had disdainful stroke or negate, they could have uh, countered the ritual of said gotten a hit in. With thief. Yeah, Doom Waffle on the top on the top of your chat it may say um, something like something to the effect of, you know, let Todd Stevens MTG know that you resubbed or it may have Hmm. Or or if not, try just hitting the refresh just hit refresh on your stream and see if it pops up then. Cause one of those will could pop up and uh, reset the notification your crew for my freedom <laughs> a 
fair price. So we're going to take the thief, hit them. And definitely considering flipping Bolas and just getting Angrath back. We could get Jade Light. Do they have another Jade Light over here? So then they pop their Memorial to Folly in response. Gonna draw two. I know what must be done. So if they, they attack Bolas, Bolas is at 6. We get minus 4 Bolas to get Angrath back to take the Hydroid Crisis. Don't you know who I am? I could just try to clear their hand. Well, that, that helps clear their hand. Carnage Tyrant. Carnage Tyrant. What is this? Give me that. Death means nothing to me. Don't you have in that card? Rex, you made an order with me undies. Awesome. Me undies is the only one of these four that doesn't have the notification that pops up. So you can get a donation deck for perfect. Thank you for sending me the confirmation number. You can get a donation deck for five dollars if you would like. Uh, that's just a an offer that's always available anytime. And now we're two people placing orders with MeUndies away from doing another 12-hour stream. We're doing this 12-hour stream for getting to the Harry's goal. <laughs> yeah, right? Carnage Tyrant looks better on our side. <laughs> Give me that. So this one could be a, a tough one to win. Really how that first game, if we lose this, it's going to be the first game that I'm going to regret not winning to if we lose this match. Well, good looking hand. I have all these duresses. So many duresses. I have, or let's see, donate. I have just a command right here for donates, but there's the info panels about them all explain that. Like if you check out the, the quip, Harry's MeUndies movement info panel, it all underneath it, it explains it. Uh, how you can get discounted donation decks and, and the, uh, 
the donation deck panel also tells you, to, you know, also refers you to those to, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not me said selling my own worn underwear for me undies now. Alright, disinformation campaign. That would be the card I want to draw right here. Campaign. Dang. <laughs> so they only have three cards left like the good news about us having nothing is that our opponent kind of has nothing as well this can't is great we did see our opponent have assassin's trophy last game I'd, they destroyed an Ascanta with that last game I do not want to see that even worse would be Vivian coming down here and destroying Ascanta that would be even worse for us but I'm not going to just sit on the Ezcanta here and not give it a try. Yeah, Jelly, you'll have to let me know. And, you know, let the chat know if you like the... How much you like the MeUndies? Thoughts on Jund Warriors. I think that's an underrated deck, honestly. I think that's a, a pretty strong deck. The The one thing about Jund Warriors is I think it has I like it against a lot of the field, but I'm still pretty concerned about the Soul Tie matchup with that deck. It's the kind of deck, though, that has the aggressive starts that sometimes you just you just run over Soul Tie, and that's what you're trying to do. And sometimes uh, Rekindling, like Rekindling Phoenix is awesome in that matchup. Sometimes it'll just go the distance, but... It's hard to be favored against every single deck in standard. And I think it's okay to have a weaker matchup there. You do have the status combo that's really good in that matchup. That's that's a good point. Status combo strong. Nobody in paper plays Sultai. I can't really find that hard to imagine. They're discarding Contempt? Contempt's like... What? They're discarding Contempt? Hmm. Their hand must be loaded. Oh, I would... I would play Sultai decks all day against Reclamation decks. I mean, you have to have your Sultai build built with that matchup in mind, but I think those are certainly winnable matchups. Hey, Rex with the tier one sub for the second month. Yeah, yeah, you're good, Rex. Yeah, that'll work. Sixty-one. Let's see. So I just fired off the contempt because I want to be able to transform as Kanta. I don't know if flipping as Kanta is really worth it here, though. I 
definitely feel like my opponent has counter magic. Maybe their counter spell is Disdainful Stroke. Uh, not counter magic. Every fight feel the wrath of Scala. All right, I'll take that. That'll work. So uh, Vivian out of here. Everything we just gotta hope they don't draw too well. We, we easily have what's on the battlefield covered. We just gotta hope they don't draw too well. Today's forecast is cloudy, with a high chance of me winning. Uh, boo. I really should get back to the lab. Well, let's see what the wind blows in. Hmm. This 2-2 two -two Chupacabra is going to be pretty annoying to deal with, how it's, you know, 4 CMC. Good against Ritual of Soot and, and Grath. Alright, that, that will do. One, two, three, four, five. Doing good, Eclaws. Doing good. You just vowed for eight and you got seven lands. Aw. But your next druidic vow is going to be huge then. Our opponent is drawing pretty well, drawing trophy and, and negate the last two turns. Definitely helping out. Getting rid of our planeswalkers. We're down to four. Toxic Flames. Getting that resub in for 14 months. Here be you are amazing. Welcome back. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. And we are down to 60. This countdown is getting close. No fire, no steel. Did they have a counter spell? No. Why would you just keep a land in hand when you play Hydroid Crisis? What are you doing, opponent? So looking to draw Nicol Bolas here. So activating Archer Varaska instead of Ascanta, because I do want to draw Bolas. But opponent scoops him up. And we are one and one. Good long match. Those matches against Sultai aren't usually easy. <laughs> Maybe our opponent thought we weren't going to plus Angrath. All right, one and one.
All right, and Rex has the donation deck for us. Here we go. Jeskai Control. Write that down. Play second. Yeah, that one's done. Of course, keeping this hand. Even though it has a bedevil that's not 3D art. Hey, there you go, Doom Waffle. Tier one sub for the second month in a row. Oh wait, we are playing first? Sweet. Fifty-nine. That blood crypt looks really nice. Opponent's got those crazy eyes. They're like all of our decks today on Arena. On April 4th today, they got those crazy eyes. Dude, Freddy was the best frontman ever, I agree. Hmm. Tough call there whether or not to keep the uh, Ritual of Soot, in my opinion. They could be, you know, like a Mardu aggro deck or some kind of aggro deck where the Ritual of Soot would be pretty important. I just don't know. Yeah, Ritual could be great. Kind of like a high variance card here. I'm certainly fine with letting it go. I'm definitely looking for some of my card advantage stuff. Demon Lord Bells and Lock. So I'd like to see Angrath or Bolus. Bolus gets mortified though. Disinformation campaign getting mortified is not a big deal. Really, I just want to draw Angrath. Uh, Bolus, you get mortified. Let's see if I can find a Thought Erasure to protect Bolus. Ruin Raider. Die, Ruin Raider, die. Evil pirate. Ugh. Well, that's a problem. That means I don't have an answer to Demon Lord Bells and Lock now. I don't really have very many other answers in my deck, honestly. I only have just like a couple of Contempts and Bedevils. That's going to be a tough one. All 
Alright, I guess I'm going with the Bolas so that if our opponent draws a land, they can only play Bells and Lock or Mortify and not both. And so, like, they're going to most likely Mortify. So, this is at least saying slow, slowly roll on this Bells and Lock for a turn. Oh my gosh. Oh no. That is so much worse than Mortify. Jeez. This is bad. I was wondering what you thought about the new spoiled 1M13 that has prowess and scry triggers off of sorcery and instant. Get your three cards? That's pretty good. I guess I don't I don't know that card, Mr. Nobody. I haven't seen that card yet. One R. Okay, that makes more sense. But one R, one three, prowess, scry. Yes, yeah, prower yeah, I mean that's what prowess is. I don't I don't expect that to be like a a, a huge standout or anything, but there could certainly be blue red spells deck with it in it. That's the kind of card that could certainly see standard play. How do we beat all of those cards? I just don't. Down a game. No, I mean, Dispersal would hit the Bells in lock, not Bolus. If Bells in lock wasn't in play, could have Dispersaled. So they do have Freebooter, Ruin Raider, Midnight Reaper, all cards that Cry of the Carnarium is decent against, especially Midnight Reaper. I definitely want to get a good amount of these Duresses and Negates in. I think probably just to just get all these Duresses in. I think I'm in for this. Because all their spells are like reactive where we can like, you know, have <clears throat> play duress and then play bolus or angrath kind of thing, like take their removal spell. So I think I like duress more than negate. I don't think we need to worry about them we don't need to be as worried about them top decking the removal spell. Maybe. Maybe I should just be playing negates. I could see negate being better. I don't know. Tough tough call. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with negate. I don't, I'm not really into... I don't think I'm into Thief here. You know, they have a lot of removal for it. We could... It's not like a good blocker. I don't know. It could block like the three twos. I don't know. I'm just... 
not really into the thieves. They could take out cravings. They also may not. They may they may be playing cast downs, and it's nice to blank those. If I'm on my opponent's side, I'm expecting Thief of Sanity, and so I could certainly see them having those kind of cards for Thief of Sanity. It's good to blink them. All right, what you doing, opponent? Well, start taking these bindings. So last game, like it's it's troublesome whenever we draw way too many lands. We saw that last game. Wow. Uh, I don't have anything for that card. That was not on my mind earlier when I was sideboarding. Yeah, I got nothing for that. That's going to kill us. I don't know why I didn't think of Adanto Vanguard. Hmm. I'm going to get Angrath. I guess. Yeah, I guess I can just Angrath it. Yeah, just give me the order confirmation number. Then you're you're good then. With MeUndies, uh, basically my tally on their website updates every once a week. But yeah, if you if you order, just send me a whisper with the order number. And then yeah, you can get the donation deck for just five dollars after that. And and I do appreciate that because so, you know if they if they miss it, then I can tell them, hey, you forgot this order, and so on. Back to the Devil's Chains and the Stormwreck Sea I go. Alright, so now we're going to have to wait a turn on the Angraft. Okay, so that's 9 out of 10 for me undies. We are one person placing an order there away from doing another 12-hour stream later on in the week. Yeah, I, I think I agree with the, the opponent taking campaign over Thought Erasure. All their cards are kind of the same. The campaign gives me card advantage by you know, letting me draw a card and they discard one of them. I was sad that my opponent took the campaign, for sure. Alright, so now they'll be able to have 
contempt available to get rid of Angrath. But I, I have to minus. As much as I'd like to plus, I just have to minus. You're just fuel for the fires of freedom, Kerr. Ah, I'll have you in chains next Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Okay. Coil and the devil on our side. Contempt and Whisper on their side. Even though we have the removal spell for Doom Whisper, uh, them setting up their next draw step to be a really good draw step with the Surveil is, is a nice bonus for the opponent here. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the Bedevil because they know about that, they don't know about the Contempt. I guess I could I could wait till after they draw and then bedevil. No, that doesn't even make sense. Because then they get to draw and then they get to set up their next draw after that. Because they, they're likely just going to do this on end step anyway. I mean, I could upkeep, but it's the same as doing upkeep now or, or bedevil now. Doesn't really matter. I just have to go through and click. But no, I don't want to wait till after draw step. Because then they set up the next draw. Alright, so they kept both on top for that last surveil. No, Adanto does does die. It gets sacrificed. Even if the opponent paid life, paid for life, it would die. All right, good time for Nicol Bolas. Clean out that Contempt. Come on, draw land, draw land, draw land. No! No! And then we still drew the land. Uh, so close, so close. All right, Angrath, great draw. Good job, Rakdos, Avatar. Ever no fire, no steel. They knew their thing was going to die. They knew about the Bedevil in my hand. Like, they, they, see, they saw the Bedevil earlier from a duress anyway, so. No fire. You're drawing gas. No steel. Or they, they took the Bedevil with a, or whatever, I don't know. Or Kite Sail Freebooter, they saw it there too. They knew about the Bedevil. <laughs> this will be child's play. So our opponent could exile their own cards from their own graveyard to make my my Angrath minus eight worse. I hope you said your goodbyes already. Yeah, Raoul, did you say your goodbyes already? No fire, no steel. Now leave me with two black sources. Need it need to make sure I have two black sources in case we have um in case we get uh bedevil here. Ready to go toe to toe with me? Choose wisely, cause the other one's going bye bye. Hmm. Could take the discovery and bounce the campaign. But we'll just take the contempt. They're in a little bit of a rough spot here. If they take something like, yeah, if they take Doom Whisper, we get to whack them for a bunch with this Doom Whisper. That's annoying. Pack your bags. 
and hit the road. Hmm. Start with you. <laughs> Hope we get something good. And then let's go you. No fire, no steel. And then we'll go you. You better watch your back from here on out. And then you. Alright, got that game. Angrass minus eight was gonna be able to kill our opponent the next turn. I guess a bunch of negates against the discard spell deck isn't as good. So maybe I do all my own discard spells. Instead of negates. Hmm. Two negate, two duress. Let's go the coward's way out. Go right down the middle. No, it's working. Somebody just did the exclamation point deck a little bit above you, Alder too. MTG bot always just takes a little bit of a break. It doesn't, so it doesn't, um, doesn't get spammed. Oh yeah, I should have brought in something for Adanto Vanguard. I just completely forgot about Vanguard. Ugh. Yeah, wish, yeah, I would have brought in Cry, not Moment, because Cry is good against uh, the three-two also. Um, against the zombie knight. Yeah, I should have brought in Cry the Carnarium, though. Hope our opponent doesn't have Adanto Vanguard. Great. Please don't have a Danto Vanguard. They did let me go first. No, oh, what are all these lands doing? We need less lands. Less land. I'll take it. <sighs> the problem with using the Lava Coil here already is if they do have Midnight Reaper, the card that I was thinking about earlier. Fewer lands. There you go. Well, we're drawing Bedevils, but they're not really great to draw here anyway. Oh, uh, Seraph. That's another reason to keep. Ooh, Contempt. Alright, not punished yet for using the Lava Coil and not Bedevil. Um, I'll just let that resolve and bedevil that next turn. Yeah, I'd rather have I'll negate on like an Ixalan's binding. Stands in my way. Like, does Kaya really even do anything? Honestly, like, do I even need to bedevil that? That's basically, what I'm saying. I 
don't even think I need to. <laughs> yep, that was definitely that was totally me. Ugh, Seraph. That's another reason to. Ooh, contempt. You're not welcome here anymore. It's like, yeah, you can drain me for five or whatever. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, the Kaya makes uh, Search for Escanta a worse card for us. Campaigns, great one. Love it. It's basically Mind Drop plus Draw Card. At least that's what that one earlier was. Made them discard a card plus they mortified it. Whew! Get rid of Binding? Oh, baby. What else you got over there if you're getting rid of binding? Do you have any more bindings? Like Binding is like the best card. I have more bindings. And Eldritch Reborn? Eldritch Reborn's annoying. Hmm. Eldritch Reborn doesn't really do anything right now, though. And hit the road. I mean, they're going to take negate anyway. I did not want to use my negate on a drill bit. That's a good drill bit. Sammy Thiel with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Sammy Thiel. Bye bye. Sub number 58. No. Not the Adopto Vanguard. Where's our Angrath? Angrath, Angrath. Butch. We need that. Draw more cards. More cards. Okay, okay. So that can... We can Dispersal Vanguard. And obviously I can Discovery, pick up Campaign. So in order to dispersal for now, Vanguard, we need Kaya off the him. battlefield. So I guess I'll kill this Kaya now. Taking seven now from Kaya is more worrisome with them having a Danto Vanguard out. Oh, and then Ruin Raider? Now they get to draw a card because of the Vanguard? Hmm. Five mana left. Killing the Rune Raider. We don't get to draw more cards. And 
And next turn we can like... Ugh! No, my Angrath! No! Gosh, what a, what a great duress. <sighs> Alright, we have two other Angraths in here somewhere. <gasps> they took campaign! They took campaign. All right, we get to get rid of Adanta Vanguard. You're just fuel for the fires of freedom, Kerr. The game soundtrack stuff like that, that's whenever we face a final boss. Back to the devil's chains in the Stormwreck Sea I go. We You're have a final boss playlist that whenever we fight a, a final boss. <laughs> That's whenever we're going for the fifth win in one of these leagues. Every problem has a solution. Let's start by taking you out of the equation. So they play a bunch of Mortifies. They can certainly, you know, draw like a Mortify for us, can't uh, Like having, getting another one. Well, let's see what the wind blows in. Well. And there we go. Stabilized, and we are two and one now. Whew. This deck plays some long games, some really interesting games, and everything like that. Yeah, we've had a couple long matches here. And to go along with the Vanifar deck of those long matches, we are six hours in. We're halfway through our 12-hour stream. We're on the third deck. <laughs> and we have a little ways to go with this Grixis discard still. Yeah, I think so. Next tier row. I would say this is a tier 1 deck. Yeah, I think this deck's good. I don't, hmm, I don't know about this hand. If I didn't have Ritual of Soot, I wouldn't consider keeping this. But with Ritual of Soot, like against aggro decks, we could probably be okay. I think this is a keep. Obviously, we need to draw lands, but we're a 26 land deck, and we're on the draw. Oh, gates? Uh-oh. Gates overall is one of the decks I like to see the very least. Is there an echo? I don't know what to do about a potential echo. Yeah, this looks like this is probably just gruel, like regular old gruel and not gates. And I certainly like that a whole lot more. Sunder Shaman. Well, I guess we gotta kill that thing. Can't really let that thing hit me, because otherwise my Ascanta's gone. Another Sunder Shaman? What's that all about? Is 
do it five five. All right, so we'll two for one ourselves. We have a lot of you know two for one kind of cards. I think that's worth it. Frenzied Arnix. Arnix. Another kind of annoying one to deal with, costing four mana. Can't ritual have set that away. Let's start the campaign trail going. Start getting our two for ones. And that will get enough cards for this as Kanta to flip next turn. I don't think Angroth would be that good here. Angrath minus doesn't steal it. Let's tear this place apart. Hmm. Vivian's really good though. Draw and fire. Bye bye, Ascanto. I'll never forget you. Clear that hand out. That's a monster. Meet my newest friend. Right there. That's another one. Dang. Angrath and Ritual Set just can't kill any of these things. This is so inconvenient. Yeah, we did. We draw some removal spell with this. I mean, my, all right, my only chance is my opponent not using Vivian to kill my... My Nicol Bolas. Yeah, we could have had Angrath kill Vivian, but then our Angrath dies. Obviously, how this has played out, I wish we would have just done that prior. That have Angrath steal now. this kitty cat and attack Vivian. And then the kitty cat would have killed Angrath, but, you know, we just ended that game with the Angrath in our hand. We can't take cards with us. This is going to be tough, honestly. I only have the five hard removal spells between the two Bedevils and the three Contempts. They have all these four mana plus cards that do dodge Lava Coil, like, you know, Lava Coil, Ritual of Soot, Angrath not killing their creatures. This is This is going to be tough for me, honestly. I think my best plan of action is just to go with Thief of Sanity to hit their large creatures. And have their large creatures kill their creatures kind of thing. Yeah, Rao's an option. I think I want a Rao over the third Angrath. I'm going to try this. 
Ralb may be able to kill a large creature, but not necessarily. We don't have like tons of instants and sorceries that, you know, like Ralb's minus is consistent on turn five. A lot later in the game, it's more consistent. Hey, what's up, 1960 pal? Siegebreaker says I don't like a I don't like four ritual of sits. I'd prefer to play a mix of cast down craving and cry. If you play a mix of cast down craving and cry, you're gonna be losing to Sultai all the time. Ritual of sits are our most important card against Sultai. And it's the without ritual of sit, we're not winning that matchup. So while Branchwalker is technically the only card they can cast, it only explores once. Jade Light explores twice. So, so I'm going to take the Jade Light. It explores this extra time. And even though they do get to cast Branchwalker, I think Jade Light's going to be a better card for them. If they were, like, potentially able to cast a Charging Monster Sword the next turn, I would have killed that Incubation Druid. Alright, let's just keep clearing out their hand. So what our, our curve wants to do, Erasure on two, Campaign on three, Bolus on four, next turn, Discovery, pick up Campaign, find a land, replay Campaign, make them discard again. So a turn two, three, four, five, have them discard a card every single turn. You have, that's four extra cards. Yeah, man, I think so. I think I would be... Comfortable playing this deck into Mythic. I think I like both of these. I like the extra bolus in case they draw a removal spell for this bolus. With them continuing to miss land drops again, I'm just going to go ahead and play the Thief of Sanity over the campaign. I think the campaign just takes out the Meteor Golem. We got plenty of Lava Coils here now. Hit them so we can get more information of like what's going to happen with this Thief of Sanity before we make a decision here. The hell is that card? Okay. Yeah, that was the plan this turn to get the druid out of there for sure. So I I played the the event where you pay the thousand gold. I played the constructed events over playing ranked because I like the format for the stream. Hmm. 
We saw a whole lot more creatures that cost three or less this time with them having explore creatures. Obviously, Incubation Druid, then even uh, the one green red thing that has hexproof. I'm going to play more Ritual of Set, less Thief of Sanity on the draw. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring in two, over two of the thieves. It's only possible I should just be playing a couple other, like duress or negate over the other thieves. Hmm. No red mana. I'm looking at like turn three campaign as like my best thing to do. Yes, this deck does very well against Esper. It's like the Esper and Reclamation, like the ver the spell heavy decks are what you want to be playing against with this deck. You don't have necessarily a great game one against either, but your post board against both of them are is incredible. Alright, have a wonderful night to Unpathed Waters, and I'll see you again another time. Dr. Tobias with the resub. Welcome back. Hmm. this thing. Sub battle countdown down to 57. So basically giving my opponent some more time to draw like their Carnage Tyrant. Something that I'm going to certainly need to Thought Erasure away. Yeah, 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 you get that thing. So I can take their entire hand, and then we take seven and go to ten. Or I could just bedevil, but then these thought erasures get a lot worse. Certainly glad we got that. Got that Vivian out of there. Hmm. I think I need to Thought Erasure the Plummet, though. Ugh, that is not what I wanted to see them draw. Alright, so we at least we have Coil and the Devil. That's not what I wanted to see. Uh, 
All right, down to four. I guess I'm getting really punished for not thought erasing away the plummet now. Yeah, getting punished for not thought raging the so if I if I play bull like bullets is my best card to play here, but if I play bullets they just plummet it. And then I take three. But then they discard the other card. If they top deck any haste kind of thing, we could be dead. I can just get rid of their two cards in hand, basically the same thing as playing a bolus. Um and draw a card. Kenny Ninja getting that Harry's Razor. Thank you very much there. Ninja, you're going to enjoy that Razor. All right, just hoping my opponent doesn't draw some kind of creature here. Let's get that count up, 24. No, Connie, I, I don't. I'm not uh, planning on doing paper events anytime soon. Yeah, War pre release is end of the month sometime. I think. I think like the very end of April or like the beginning of May. Basically, the 25th is whenever it comes out on Arena. And I think the pre release is after that for paper. Stop drawing bane fires. Do you have three additional Harry subs? Key, I got credit for like one. I got credit for one extra. I saw that. But there was, I have been getting credit for a couple that I don't know exactly for exactly what or why. So it could be, could be that. Thief's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Basically just pretty scared of like these cards that they have that have, they've had a few different cards with Riot. And so I'm scared of like these cards with Riot. So I wanna have like the blockers being at two. Connie, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Thanks for that resub for the second month. I do appreciate that.
Oh my gosh. We're gonna die. <laughs> uh, I need a thief to hit anything. Yeah, flipping a minus four doesn't doesn't help me against two creatures. I need thief to hit any anything whatsoever. I mean, what what do you want me to do? Just not attack? Y'all are saying that I threw the game. What do you want me to do? Just not attack at all? If I don't attack with... Like, if I... If I... Like, I could just, just attack with Bolas and then flip it and get a new creature. If I... You're saying that I should leave Bolas back. If you leave Bolas back, that's still only one card. Like, Bolas only blocks one thing. You have to leave Thief back if you want to block both. But I think, you know, instead of leaving Thief back, I was hoping that Thief would hit something. But we've already seen a bunch of burn spells from our opponent in these games. And just sitting back is not is not a very good option. We just hit nothing with Diva Sanity there. Is there anything I can draw? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For two mana? I don't think there's anything I can draw. I mean, the plan now is I'm dead. I need to hit any kind of creature or removal spell or anything. I don't have any moments in the deck. Like if we if we sit back, we just have to chump block with Thiefa Sanity. That just doesn't make a lot of sense to sit back there. So we would had we had to spend to be able to draw two cards. We'd have to spend seven mana to flip Bolas to draw two cards. So I would have only been left with two mana, and the only cards at two mana that I could could cast were Lava Coil and Discovery. But they have two they have two creatures that are lethal. So I couldn't I couldn't find anything. Yeah, it was not the, the safest play was just to was just to not attack with Thief flip bolus and just get their 4-4 four, four and just have their 4-4 four, four and thief and you just you know uh if they attack with both you just have the 4-4 four, four block the 3-5 and trade with thief but with all of the cards they have of like dealing damage quickly and everything it's just it's not the the best play of winning the game it's the safest play of staying alive but it's not the best play of winning the game No, I did not have Mo Moment of Craving in the deck, no. Moment of Craving was in my sideboard still. So yeah, don't regret attacking at all. You know, we just hit three basics. Yeah, we had a <laughs> that league. So, you know, we went 2-2. Two -two, and the first game, <laughs> Thieves Sanity was just god-awful for us in those games. If... If y'all remember back to 12 hours ago, whenever we played the first game, or at least that's what it feels like, whenever we played against that, was it mono-white or black-white opponent or whatever, where, I guess it was black-white, a black-white opponent, where we drew all four Thief of Sanities, and we hit our opponent four times with Thief of Sanity, uh, this opponent with not very many creatures and a bunch of removal and everything, and all four thieves just hit absolutely nothing. We just got like divine visitation and a bunch of crap, and we, you know, we just need like a removal spell with a thief, and couldn't find a removal spell. So like the the thieves, you know, drawing the four thieves and having all four thieves be dead cards, um, and us just having to sweep away our own thieves entities is what cost us the. Uh, first round here.
That is true, though. If we would have gone with the safe line, our opponent would have just drawn three lands in a row, and we probably would have been able to take over with Nicol Bolas if they would have just drawn three lands in a row. So. Oh, well. Yep. So some a couple unfortunate games. But, yeah, we'll get them next time. So. All right, so that's Grixis Discard. If you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.